Okay, let's do this. Servus and welcome everyone to the streets of Vienna. My name is Martin and a couple of weeks ago I had the opportunity to stroll through the first district with my Fuji X100 in the fourth generation. First off, some thoughts on the camera. And don't worry, it will not get technical. I think most important to know is that it has a fixed focal length of 23 mm on an APS-C sized sensor which is about uh, 35 millimeters in full frame. The image quality is very good and it is just so pretty. And with all its clicky knobs and dials, it invites you to operate it manually. From my point of view, that's how a camera should look like. It's almost a piece of art in itself. On the other side, I think the ergonomics are rubbish. It just doesn't feel good to hold it in one hand. Ooh, right there, the big seven on the wall, that's the artist cinema. And also the reason why I was out that day. Our plans were to watch a movie later that day. Uh, but till then, I had to kill some time. So, back to the bad ergonomics uh, of the camera, uh, at least in my view. Uh, there is an easy workaround, I just use an X-strap instead of a wrist strap. It's as easy as that. And on the next strap uh, I put the little camera with which this clip is filmed. And for that matter, I mean filming, I wouldn't recommend uh, the gorgeous Fuji. It feels a little bit like lockdown again when nobody's out on the street. By the way, I have to admit that the Fuji is the only camera I shoot in JPEG. And this is easily explained. I'm just stingy when it comes to editing software. That's why I use Snapseed for around 99% of the editing work. I edit on the tablet and I need to say I enjoy the process. But the raw data that comes out of uh, these Fuji cameras isn't compatible with Snapseed. So, if anyone knows how to fix this tiny problem, um, please feel free to contact me um, and let me know. Here we have a little light and shadow play. Nothing spectacular, but okay. Welcome to the Fiestel Passage. I'm sorry that the footage is a bit shaky. I guess it's a little bit too dark in here for the tiny action camera. And here we have the Donau Nixon Brunnen, which 
roughly translates to Danube Mermaid Fountain or so. It's about six meters high. And the basin consists of Ardnet marble. The architect was Heinrich von Fersel, who designed the whole house. And that's how the street sounds in Vienna downtown. Located just a stone throw away from the Berlin Fierstel is this old beauty, the Menoritenkirche. Opposite of the Menoritenkirche is the Ministry of Interior, which you see on these photos. And here we have the office of the Federal President of Austria, who is, at that point in time, Alexander van der Bellen. To our left we have the famous Spanish riding school and several other sites are about to come. So this is an example of long-lasting window shopping at an art gallery just around the corner. And there it is, the most known landmark of Vienna. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Stephansdom or St. Stephen's Cathedral. The lady in red caught my attention. At least her shoes are red. I somehow missed this crowded places for the last two years. At that moment I was too sober to bear brass band music. So I went on. Here is a picture taken while the brass band music was playing. The music I fled from. Now we are in the narrow alleys of the inner city. Lots of restaurants, bars and shops. Straight ahead is the Café Altwin. It celebrates its 100th anniversary this year. And to our left is the garden of the Café Altwin. When I'm on my way in the inner city, I always have the feeling that there are just tourists there. An exception is the man I overtook just some seconds ago. A board in the shop window, just around the corner, quoted Soup of the Day, Gin Tonic.
funny, isn't it? To the right is the restaurant we met before going to the movie. And here we are again, crossing the Judenplatz with a fat belly. And ready to fall asleep in the cinema. I'm afraid it's a bit too dark to show, but I had accidentally two beers. And they needed to go somewhere. When we came out there was a really nice reflection of the sun, as you can see. After the film we headed back to the Stephansplatz, which is a pretty crowded place, above and underground. The picture of the boy was the first shot I took that day, and there was no one else in the underground station. Welcome to the Danube city, um, which is constantly under construction, so the skyline is growing and changing all the time. In case you ask yourself, no, it is not normal, usually the trains stop in the station, but not this time. I'm sure you have already guessed it, yeah, right? Construction works. In front of us is the office uh, of the United Nations in Vienna. Uh, it is home to a lot of organizations, agencies and different offices. It was built in the 70s and uh, around 5,000 people work there. Okay, we got off the train and are just several steps away from home. If you're still watching, uh, I want to thank you for your persistence and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If not, please keep it for yourself and don't let me know. Take care. Bye.